Hey, Rufus, I've decided we're going to blow some shit up today. How's that sound? Oh, come on, a little etymology never hurt anybody. Rufus, are you implying that I'm going to use this premise of explaining the origin of certain words for destruction as a pretense for visual depictions of you being destroyed in various ways? Well, you're right. Blackboard! Let's start with destroy. Like all good English words, this one, and several words that look like it, has its roots in classical Latin. The verb struere means to build. You can probably already think of other English words that have this root, like construct and construe, instruct, superstructure, infrastructure, and so on. These words all have a core sense of build, but get their specific meanings from their prefixes. De, as a Latin prefix, generally means down or has a sense of negation, so destroy means to tear down or to unbuild. But as you can see, most of the related words have the struct root rather than the strew one. So what's the deal with the English word destroy? Shouldn't it be destruct? Well, destruct is an English word, but we don't use it as a general term for destruction. We use destroy instead. If you've been paying attention to this channel, you may have picked up on the fact that lots of English words pass through French on their way from classical Latin to modern English, and that tends to change the words in significant ways. This is a handy way to guess how old an English word is, in fact. The less it looks like Latin, the older it is, generally. That's what happened to destroy. Forms of this word start popping up in Middle English around the 1300s, influenced by the Old French verb, which itself came from Late Latin, which comes from Classical Latin. The word destruct, as you might guess from its more Latin-looking form, is a recent addition to English. Now, the OED will show you an appearance of this word from 1638, but this is an anomaly. There are no other documented instances of destruct for hundreds of years after this one. The word was created in the 1950s in the U.S. with the specific meaning of destroying a rocket or missile before its course is completed, as in the phrase, this message will self-destruct. <laughs> the form destruct as a verb is probably a back formation from the commonly used noun destruction. We'll talk about back formations on some other day. While we're at it, let's look at a very similar destruction word, demolish. It shares the same de root as destroy, and the rest of the word also comes from a Latin verb. In this case, it's the deponent verb moliri, which means struggle or labor at, and by extension, build. The word also pops up in Middle English from Old French, just as destroy does, and its meaning is basically identical. Demolish, to tear down or unbuild. Here's another good destruction word, annihilate. This can be a tricky one to spell sometimes, so hopefully learning the origin of the word will make it a little bit easier to remember. This word is Latin too, and at its core is the word nihil, which is Latin for nothing. Annihilate has a pretty straightforward construction in Latin. The preposition ad means to or toward, and nihil, as I said, means nothing. The d in ad gets assimilated to make the word easier to pronounce. We'll talk about assimilation some other day, probably not on the same day as we talk about back formations. So to annihilate something is literally to reduce it to nothing. The word first came into English in its past participle form, that is to say, as the adjective annihilated. Forms that appear all the way back in Middle English just like destroy and demolish. The verb form annihilate followed shortly thereafter, maybe about a century later. Let's do one more good destruction word, decimate. In current usage, decimate is really just a synonym of destroy, but the word has a much more interesting history than destroy or demolish. In the ancient Roman world, decimation was a specific punishment intended to dissuade soldiers from engaging in bad behavior, like desertion or mutiny. If an entire group of soldiers committed one of these serious offenses, the punishment was decimation. Here's how it worked. The cohort of disgraced soldiers would divide into groups of ten. Then they would draw straws, and the soldier who drew the short straw was summarily murdered by the remaining nine. Yes, this is a real thing that happened, at least according to Roman historians like Livy and Suetonius. The root of the Latin verb decimare is decem, the word for ten, so the verb just means to choose a tenth by lot. There's no killing in the word itself, uh, that part we just understand from its historical usage. Only recently have we started using the word decimate in English as a general synonym for destroy. For the past several hundred years, the word referred specifically to this Roman practice of killing a tenth of a misbehaving group. Grammarians have resisted this new usage, but hey, language changes over time. Ain't nothing to be done about it. So, there you go. Destroy, demolish, decimate, and annihilate. Four good words for blowing shit up. That wasn't so bad now, was it, Rufus? Oh, right. Um...
See you next time.